We're up in Wewahithka, and take a look at this. This is the damage. We're still pretty far away from the coast, about 15 miles. But again, you can see the destruction that Hurricane Michael left behind with 155 mile an hour winds. There's a home, there's a tree, and there's another home with the tree on top of it and the roof gone as well. This is the kind of damage we've been seeing out in this area. Plenty of trees down, plenty of roofs ripped off, and the thing that is most concerning in this area, there's still no power. It's tough to get people out here to fix stuff because it's so far out. Again, lots of damage out in this area. Lots of trees down, still no power. As you can see, the trees are all on the side and if they're up near a home, they're on top of the home and there's a barn. The whole top is just ripped off. And when that happens, that blows off and no idea where they end up. But again, the damage out here is severe. There's plenty of damage and people still without power, still without running water. They're telling the whole county of this area, the water is not drinkable. Do not drink the water. This is an area that's hard hit and it's an area that's out away from everything else. Again, destruction all throughout the area wherever we look. There's a home devastated. It's flat, the people are there now trying to fix it, but that's what we've been seeing in this area. In Eagle 8 HD, Paul Amason, News Channel 8.